Hi guys, um, I am jumping on here today and just giving you a few tips about voting. Um, I've talked to a lot of people about what's coming up and you know, an important opportunity that we have to vote. And so I've had a lot of questions, so I felt like it'd be important to just do a quick little uh, to tips and um, recommendations as you prepare. So some of you may have already done absentee ballots, which is fantastic. Um, but for those of you that are going to do early voting starting Thursday, you can do that Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Now, the times are a little bit different, so make sure you look uh, for that information. Um, and most importantly, um, just get ready. Be prepared. There's a lot on the um, ballots this year or this election, so please make sure you are prepared. Uh, first thing I want to say that the easiest way that I found to get my information and my sample ballot is by going to okvoterinfo.com. And of course, this is for the state of Oklahoma. So if you live somewhere else, you can go to vote.org and find more information there. Uh, but for those of you in Oklahoma, uh, you can actually download your uh, sample ballot and it looks something like this. And this is the easiest way to get prepared. Uh, all the state questions are on here. All the Oklahoma City Charter questions are on here. And um, I got to be a part of that committee. So um, I know that these are all updates and verbiage changes. So if you have any questions on the charter questions, which are nine propositions, please feel free to reach out to me um, and get more clarification or any more details that you like on those. Um, but then we also have State Question 805 and State Question 814. Those are really important to make sure that you look at the details just because of the changes that they will have and the, the impact that they will have. So please make sure that you find out what's important to you and that you fully understand what those changes would be and how they would affect us. Um, it's not very, those are not easy yes or no questions, but I would just do your research and based on what you feel, you know, go accordingly. Um, we also have several uh, district judges that are on the ballot, but most importantly, we do have several other elections, which you're gonna see on the second page. Um, there's presidential, there's US Senator, which is really important. We also have um, Congress, we have several other um, house districts, depending on where you live. I have one on there myself. And then if you live in Oklahoma County, you have county clerk. Um, and then you also have uh, Oklahoma County Sheriff, which is another really big, big, big um, election. Um, and so again, those are about in mine, I have about three pages. Now you can take these with you whenever you go to vote. Um, so you can have these prepared, you can print it out, or you can easily have it on your phone where you look up um, Oklahoma okvoterinfo.com and then you can just screenshot it and check off whatever you have ready on your phone and you can take that in there. So there's so many ways you can take that. You are allowed to take your notes. So Please be aware of that. It is um, not against any rules to have your um, your notes with you. So if you have family members, like, you know, I usually have my dad taking his little paperwork and he has it nice and folded and takes it in there and is ready to go. So you're allowed to do that. You're also allowed to have your phone. Um, you know, the goal is for you not to be like recording on your phone while you're there and doing all that kind of stuff. But most importantly, it's OK to have it for your notes. Um, if you have any questions on that, please reach out or go to the um, Oklahoma County Election Board for more details, more questions, all that. And again, I am just a volunteer. I just feel like it's important for people to know how to get out there and vote. So um, again, this is just what I think is easy tips for people who are getting ready. Um, and if you don't get to go for early voting on Thursday, Friday, or Saturday, then you can go on election day, which is Tuesday, November 3rd, from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Um, make sure that you have your photo ID or your uh, 
voter ID card and that you can also check your voting location, your polling place at okvoterinfo.com. Everything you need to be prepared is there. So please check early, check now, ask questions. Um, there's so many people that are here to help. So hope you guys get ready and don't um, don't lose this opportunity to make a difference. Um, there's your vote can be the determining factor. There's been a lot of local races that, you know, with five votes, this a candidate wins. So we need every single person to get out and vote. Don't take it for granted. We need you. And um, again, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me, uh, message me, or um, I'd be happy to help. Um, and DM, phone, whatever, email. Um, there's my email. You can catch me there. Uh, but other than that, see you guys at the polls and um, have a great day.